Today I'm going to take you through a backstory that my kind of a slight obsession with language and language systems. The Olipa group are a group of people that use mathematics and methods. Rather than creating free verse, they use these constraints. Now just of interest, no one really thinks about letter frequency, how often something's used. Some of you may have heard of this word, it's a real word called Eton and Shudaloo. This is actually the original backspace, the original mistake. So when you were doing letterpress, the way that the letters were set up, if you'd made a mistake to the copywriter, you'd run your fingers down, it would spell Eton and Shudaloo, so they would actually know to replace that with the correct word. So it came from really old systems. The most famous um, thing that started really the conceptual art was this uh, picture of Magritte. This is not a pipe. I trained as a sculptor, so this is really a chance to, to kind of create work and imagery and, and share it with the world. So this is really a story of a bird that has a nest, that cracks an egg, that floats away, and then dies. It's the circle of life. So I just like playing with objects that, that, that are kind of surreal, um, tell stories. 2009 was a tough year for us, so I manufactured 500 of these sort of drunk bottles for my clients. So just looking at it makes you feel drunk. And eggnog, I don't know if any of you tasted eggnog, but just make, making a brand that has no text, just something that looks like an egg. At the top looks like an egg. So I just, I just want you to go out there, just please, and give the world a bit of a wobble. Find your little thing, a little gesture that makes a smile and you know, messes with someone's head.